With every passing week, I slowly get more and more sick of this year, as today we have an announcement coming from VTuber agency FaZe Connect, who has announced the termination of their talent, Fura Yuri. They state, at FaZe Connect, we take contractual matters very seriously. It has been discovered, investigated, and confirmed that there had been multiple repeated breaches of the FaZe Connect talent contract by Yuri in the past year she had been with us. Upon the confirmation of these infractions, both the company and Yuri had gone to great lengths to remedy the situation. Unfortunately, we were unable to come to a mutual agreement. Therefore, a continued working relationship and a renewal of contract were deemed impossible. They then state that all of Yuri's social accounts will be taken down on May 1st and that the company will be providing a full refund to anyone that donated to Yuri for her PC. Yuri will also be posting a farewell video on the 30th of April. This announcement has of course come as a shock to many fans and friends of Yuri with some people asking, quote, didn't she join as a phase invader? I'm surprised to hear you guys are deleting her channels. Does she not have the right to those? And I don't know for certain, but I do believe believe that the contract likely stated that once Yuri joined, ownership of her model and accounts would be transferred to FaZe Connect. Again, I don't know for certain, but based off of the announcement that we have gotten, that's probably what happened. Yuri did make a final tweet on the 17th of April that reads, quote, hostages have made the biggest impact on my life and I genuinely cannot be more thankful for the most amazing fans I have. Thank you for being the most loving, funny, and supportive people in the world, which has many fans sending as much love as possible to Yuri. Now, of course, much like most announcements from agencies, a lot of people are upset with Face Connect for terminating Yuri, thinking there should be no reason for it to happen. However, much like any job, movie agency, or whatever, if you break contract, you will be let go. They obviously tried fixing things so that this didn't happen, but it obviously just did not work as per the announcement. It sucks, and I am personally very upset that Yuri has been terminated, but I do understand why Face Connect would need to do something like this. But please let me know what you all think about that down below as we move on to some really cool news coming out from Idol Showdown, the whole life fan fight fighting game that is being created. They have shown off gameplay and announced that Kirio Koko will be included in the game, which has had many fans overjoyed with this news and looking forward to the release on May 5th. I will definitely be streaming this myself on that day. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and take a look over at today's sponsor, V Reverie, who has recently announced a debut of their second generation of talents called Odyssey. The generation includes Cherry Lupina, Rana Ayana, Akiko Sushi, and Erika Biako. The talent will begin debuting at 9pm EDT on April 29th and even have a trailer showcase them and their models, so let's go ahead and check it out. Whoa, you have a lot of treasure! Well, that. <laughs> it doesn't narcissism when I'm better than you. No, no. Let's go for the unknown and unreal secret, shall we? Hey, are you ready for our duel? Then let's fight! Again, that was V Reverie second generation Odyssey debuting this Saturday. Please go check out their channels and prepare for the debuts and thank you so much V Reverie for sponsoring this video. We've also had some news coming from Ina, that being her brand new outfit that she showed off a few days ago that looks amazing. I love Ina and short haired Ina is something I never knew I needed until we got it a few days ago. So please, if you did miss Ina's outfit, please go check out the stream. And moving on, we also have some news coming out from Niji Sanji English's Luxium who has showed off brand new outfits a few days ago that all look wonderful. Many of the Luxium fans have been wanting new outfits for the group, so please make sure to go check those out if you are interested. Again, they all look great. Now, we've also had Idol Corp announce the second generation of their talents coming in May, so stay tuned for that. Well, for now, we go ahead and move over to something just really, really dumb. That being the Kizuna Eye anime that is on Crunchyroll. Now, the anime itself, I can't really judge since I haven't watched it and probably never will since they have now, at the end of episode 3, explained what NFTs were to the audience for whatever reason. Now, this unfortunately isn't really a surprise considering they had dabbled in NFTs back in 2021 and I believe 2022 as well. This, of course, had a lot of fans of Keys and I just disappointed in them because holy shit is this 
dumb. I'm honestly certain the only reason they might be promoting or even talking about NFTs in an anime for Keys and I is to then promote their NFTs at a later date, but who knows? Let me know what you all think about that down below. While we move over to some news coming out from Bao, who has released her first ever cover album with seven tracks on it. Please go give that a listen if you haven't already, and as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!